Hey lovely. So this is a little video that is all about what this day out of time is all about. And the day out of time is a word that is used for the 25th of July each year. And it correlates to the 13 moon calendar, which is another one of the Mayan calendars. You know, there's loads that stack on top of each other. But this 13 moon calendar is the lunar calendar that has astrological significance for the 365 day year that we are continuously moving through. So it actually maps an astrological event which the 12 month calendar does not. And it's really powerful to align with this 13 moon calendar because as I say, it's a natural cycle that's happening in the sky anyway. And there's a rhythm to it. So it's 28 days over and over again. But as if you can do maths, you will realize 28 days times 13 months gives only 264 days. And within the year cycle, there are 365 days. So that is why on the 25th of July, we have what they call a day out of time. So this day out of time is essentially what it says, you know, it's an opportunity for us to kind of be in the nothingness, in the space in between. So the year begins on the 26th of July in alignment with Sirius. But on the day before that, we have this amazing opportunity. And, you know, within the kind of the galactic Mayan calendar and the law of time sort of theme of everything, it's this idea that time is art. So as opposed to time being money, which is what it is in this third dimension of Gregorian time, you know, the time is kind of measured by this monetary system that we have. On the day out of time and within this framework, you know, we've got this opportunity to be out of time. So it's a really wonderful opportunity to be in creativity because, you know, it, it's about really birthing, you know, whatever wants to come through us. It's about really celebrating, you know, it's like the day that we can kind of put down our tools and really like celebrate all of the personal development that we've done, celebrate our amazing tribe, just pause and breathe and do, you know, give ourselves permission to do whatever it is, you know, that we want to do for ourselves for that day. And, you know, it just, with this whole time thing, for me personally, it just makes sense. And I had a huge download the other day, you know, on the, on the aeroplane about it and, you know, how key aligning with real time is, you know, especially for us moving forward and stepping into the space that we want to be, you know, residing within. Because, you know, when we're in this space of, of time being this linear thing, which isn't true, you know, and living within this kind of, it's like a religion that the entire world has bought into accidentally, you know, it's like this, this calendar system that we kind of live within. It isn't true, but everyone adheres to it. And that like collective belief and the collective buying into this modality of this framework of a 12 month calendar, you know, is something that limits us, you know, it keeps us tied. We are literally tied into this time, you know, and there's nothing that we can do to break out of it unless we adopt an alternative. And, you know, I really strongly feel and that all of the guidance that I get is like, you know, and my experience has fucking taught me as well, you know, by living within this alternative time space, literally time and space bend and are more malleable. And, you know, the energy of a day is the energy of a day. And, you know, there's a, there's a specific flavor and processes of a, an emotional evolution kind of type that are constantly unfolding as opposed to it being like March or July. You know, it's like, okay, this energy is the energy of crystal moon and crystal moon for this moon month has got this kind of energy. So this is what the theme of it is about. 
And regardless of whether you buy into that side of things, just stepping out of this Gregorian bullshit um, is a really, really powerful thing to do. So yeah, so to get back to this day out of time energy, so, you know, it's, as I say, it's as it says, it's a day out of time. So it's an opportunity to kind of review and kind of look to the future too. You know, it's like, okay, so that's what was going on there. That's what's coming here. And then let that go and come into this present moment. So it's a day where we can really, really give ourselves the opportunity to just be present, to clear the schedule, to call in sick, to do whatever it is, you know, that we feel that we need to do in order to align, um, you know, with giving ourselves the opportunity to be out of time, you know, and to really muse on this time thing, to really give ourselves the space to meditate and to listen, you know, whatever it is that you do to kind of connect and gain information from a source that's not Google or another person, you know, whether it's automatic writing, whether it's movement, whether it's meditation, you know, whatever it is, giving ourselves the opportunity on the 25th of July to do that is such a, a beautiful gift to ourselves. It's like, you know, it's the day where we can kind of, for me personally, I really like to go internal. There are lots of people across the planet that have celebrations on that day. Um, but I really like to, yeah, to go within on the day out of time and just kind of, yeah, to just give myself the opportunity to let go of like the worldly stuff and the the space that we've been into, that we've chosen to be into. Um, and just really kind of go into that place within me, into the void, you know, where I can really access my creativity and you know that's for me tomorrow is going to be all about that because today that i'm making this video is the 24th of july so tomorrow is the 25th and you know i'm really gonna just paint paint and write and just rest you know because i think as well regardless of kind of again it comes back to the time frequency you know because it is a frequency that we live within and the framework of it we don't really give ourselves the opportunity to have time off you know yeah okay we might work a job which i'm very blessed in that i don't have to work for another person so i set my own schedule but regardless of whether we're talking about work or personal development or all of these you know we, we're constantly striving and we're constantly being human wanting to expand and get better but to actually give ourselves some time off, some time to just, okay, what do I actually want to do? To let go of the, the analytical mind, to let go of, or oh, maybe that's a part of us that we really love to reside within, so maybe that's where we'll go, you know? But just giving ourselves the top opportunity and the time um, to be out of time and to just really honour ourselves. So, yeah, I guess that's the, the biggest thing for the day out of time is just to honour yourself, to honour yourself and to honour our tribe and to honour this planet and, you know, and to really open up to the divine, to open up to, you know, our galactic centre, because that's, you know, when Sirius aligns, we're aligning with the galactic centre too. So there's this, like, on the 26th, this portal opens and all of a sudden it's like, bam, 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 bam. you know, the new year is here, you know, we're kind of, whoop, we get our little zing and then we're off again so and especially you know i'm making this video you know within the energy of the yellow crystal seed year we're going to be moving into the red cosmic moon year which is the 13th year of the cycle um so it's going to be a pretty full-on year so to really kind of hone this day out of time and you know if you can just giving yourself an hour just one hour to just sit with this concept of being out of time and you know this is the, the whole thing it's like when I talk and when I'm doing my videos I am channeling I'm plugging in and I'm letting whatever comes through and to give ourselves the opportunity because we are all able to do that you know we've all got a higher self we've all got you know whatever word you put on it there's a god for all of us or there is one god or whatever word you want to put with it but we've all got the, the ability much like you know with the, the computer 
that reflects our ability to do this. Um, we've got the internet that we can plug into, but we don't need the machine. <laughs> you know, what is the internet? <laughs> Nobody really knows. It's this thing that's like stored, it's an energy, it's a like information bubble that's somewhere that this little machine can like plug into. Forget the machine, you know, that that bubble exists, you know, it's dimensional. So we can sit back and plug into that and you know as I was saying before there are so many different ways that we can plug into our design source you know sometimes that's through like movement practice but other times you know people have got so many different ways of doing that but to kind of sit and just wait especially you know with the time that we're in because we've got this like super duper technology you know information hunger because we've got the information at our fingertips it's like <clears throat> I want to eat it all, all the time. I want to like input, 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 input. So it's very rare, unless you kind of consciously make space for it, that we do just stop. You know, I was just having a conversation with my grandma saying that I'm going to, you know, put my phone on one side in a couple of weeks um, to, to really kind of step out of that because I broke my phone ages ago and had an opportunity, you know, over, the, over maybe a three week period um, of just clocking when I would step forward with my phone and you know like I'd, a mum would open up I'd be interacting with somebody and they'd leave the room and the automatic response would be to get out the phone and to get some more information and to get some more input and do, 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 do. but through not having the phone and not having the opportunity to do that instead I sat quietly I heard God I heard my higher self I had a chat with my guide, I stared into the candle and connected with the flame, I stared out of the window, I watched the people, you know, all of those things that permit us to be present in this moment here and now, as opposed to, you know, it's like this whole thing that I speak about many times of like living from the inside out, as opposed to the outside in, and with this real crazy kind of technological dimension of linear time that we've built we're constantly bombarded with information and it's very rare that we have the time to to interesting with language as well you know language is such an incredible thing that really weaves reality so it's really interesting to pick up on what we say without thinking the terminology that we use is so insightful um but yeah it's it's rare that we give ourselves the opportunity to pause you know, and just to take in kind of what's there and to be peaceful, you know, because when we are peaceful, it, it's like another sort of thing that I will do because I love music. I absolutely buzz off music. It's something that is so massive in my life. But often I'll miss the silence because of the music. It's like now, you know, I'm sat in Bradford and you know Bradford's not a very countryside place at all um, it's a city in the north of England a small city but a city all the same but where I am I'm like on the top of a hill and every time I stop talking now I've got my window open I don't hear anything else I can hear like a few birds and the sun shining and you know it's like that yummy stillness that feeling that it invokes within me could so easily be missed through me filling the space all the time so on this day out of time it's an opportunity for us to not fill the space let the space be there and see what comes into the space and then that's something that we can kind of carry forward because the stillness speaks you know and it's a real everything around us the whole of reality is constantly in communion with us you know and it's such a beautiful thing to witness but we miss it you know it's like this whole thing with synchronicity and these meaningful coincidences you know perhaps they're happening every single moment but we're just not listening or we just don't see that it's happening but then all of a sudden we start to get a little bit more conscious whatever that word means of it and we start to see it so yeah this day out of time 
is a real gateway for us to pause, for us to let go of massive amounts of input and for us just to receive and to make an intention, you know, that we want to receive and that we're listening and, you know, that we're here to, to, to experience. So I hope that you have the opportunity on the 25th of July, before we move into the first day of our new year, to give yourself the opportunity to be out of input, to be out of linear time, to be out of, you know, this Gregorian framework and just breathe you know, and listen to this stillness. So I'm sending you loads and loads of love from beautiful Bradford, my hometown in England, where I'm going to be for the next two months. It is an absolute blessing to be here. And it's so profound that I am here. I'm here as me. And for the first time, I'm at my grandparents' house. And I'm being completely myself, keeping up my practice, setting up my altar and not having any conflict about it internally or therefore externally. Not that there was ever really conflict, um, but it was more, I was scared to show because I didn't think it would be approved of, whereas now I'm like, I actually don't mind if it's not approved of and funnily enough, it's completely fine. So yeah, it's a proper gift from really, really, really good. So yeah, loads of love and loads of blessings as always. And take care, beautiful ones. Have a wonderful new year on the 26th. I hope that you do something fantastic to celebrate it. And yeah, I look forward to what this 13th year has in store for us. Lots and lots and lots of love. Mwah.